In this next video, we're going to talk about the difference between uh, using the in clause versus like a, a full up uh, subquery. So let's let's do that. Let's first of all run these two queries. We're just doing a select star from employees and then a select star from departments. So let's take a look at those and see what we have. But you see here, basically what connects these two tables, I've got a foreign key in the employee table, DP key. And the DP key is really the department number. You know, like department one is accounting and department two is HR, three is sales, four is IT, the smart programmer guys, five is mismanagement. So anyway, uh, what I want to do is I want to get a list of all the names of the people from um, the IT department. So one of the ways that I can do that is I can say select star from employees where the DP key equals four. Okay. Now, what I, I probably should have said over here is where it's in for, since we're doing a comparison of, you know, the end clause versus a subquery. So here, by me saying select star from employees where DP key in, and then I have my parentheses, and inside I have a comma delimited list. There's only one item, so there's no reason to delimit it. Uh, but it just shows me the people that are in department number four. Now the difference is if I want to do a subquery, now notice this next query, there's a lot more writing in here. There's a lot more writing. But notice I get the same exact results back each time. I get Vlad, Roy, Patesh, Dave. Vlad, Roy, Patesh, Dave. It's returning the same information. So why would you use one and not the other? Well, one of the reasons is this is considered more dynamic, this query. And it's really, it's really comparing this versus this. And this is considered more dynamic because what I'm doing is I'm not hard coding a key. I'm not hard coding the number four. And quite frankly, I may not know that the IT department is related to key number four. I do because I'm looking right in the data table and I'm a smart guy. But generally speaking, uh, like when we select everything from departments, okay, here's the fourth record, here's IT, and it happens to be key number four. Now, half the time in a program when you would see these values, it's because they would be in a dropdown. So when you click on IT, what you see is IT, but what the computer sees is the number four behind that. It's invisible to the user. So the end user or whoever is doing something may not know that IT and the number four are connected. So with this hard coded here, you may not, you, you may be able to do that. You, you may or may not know that this value is equal to four, or you just may not be in a position where you want to look it up, or it may need to be more dynamic. By doing it this way, by making a subquery, you're, you're basically using the same construct of uh, the in keyword here and here, except the difference is instead of supplying a comma delimited field, what I'm doing is I'm running a query, which is returning the number four. See here I'm just hard coding the number four, but here this is actually returning the number four. So what I'm doing is I'm saying select star from employees where DP key in and it still translates into the number four because that's what you get when you run the subquery. So basically it's running this query first and then it's running this query. So that's how you would do that. That's how you write a subquery. Now the reason now the reason for doing this is it's more dynamic. You may know that the name of the department is IT. You may not know what the number is. So this is kind of doing a lookup on that for you beforehand, whereas this is hard coded. And also because, you know, the key number could change, it probably never would. Um, but just this is considered more dynamic. And if you know how to do it the second way, and if you understand the concepts, you'll make two to three times as much money as, as someone who doesn't understand that because almost everything you do in SQL Server has to do with subqueries and joins and all that other kind of stuff.